Hi, this is Jackie. Hi, this is Diane. And you're listening to Home Bodies Only, where we welcome all bodies to join us as we break down and dissect HBO series. And we are talking about, and just like that, season two, episodes one and two, which of course they released back to back. Um, I forget which season we're on. So this is going to be a little confusing um, Mm -hmm. for people who listen to the podcast and pay attention, but we're doing like a season every time we start a new um, season of a show or a new show. So I think this will be like season 12, but Abbott (laughs) Elementary is season 11. So we'll be releasing, we're doing two shows at once. We're going to see how we do it. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh boy. All right. So the first episode one is called Met Q and episode two is called The Real Deal. Um, okay, I realized, so Met Cute has a double meaning, because it's the mm. Met Ball, which I didn't mm-hmm. get till the second time I was watching. Oh, I really? have to tell you. Yeah. No, well, because I was watching it, you know, when I first put it yeah. on, I guess I wasn't thinking, because I, yeah. I got stuck on the, the term Met Cute. I don't know why I cannot stand that phrase. I think it's because there's wrong grammar in there. Mm. Like, cute is an adjective and met is a verb and cute doesn't describe a verb and adverb describes a verb. So met cutely, (laughs) which I don't think cutely is a word. So that's the whole thing. Met cute sounds terrible to me and I don't like Mm -hmm. the phrase. And I did have to Google it to make sure I knew what it meant. And it just basically means like, I think it was like a cute way that you met. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Whatever. Um, I actually absolutely loved the intro to this. So, I, oh, you did. I yes. was stuck I on the song. It. I go, wait, no, it's I Tiny Dancer, it. and I was like, oh my god, that's that's, that's the Elton one. John. I know, it's but John I and- right, but they mashed yeah. together the two songs, Tiny Dancer and the one. Did you catch that? Because the one is one of my favorite Elton John Elton John songs. You know what? I didn't. Know See, that. and I didn't. Even, I go. And wait I a second. That that's not Tiny Dancer. I'm going. It's not Tiny Dancer. Hold on. I got to. So I backed it up, and I play, oh, I'm like, oh my god, they mashed up the one with Tiny Dancer. I loved it. Sing me the one. Um, if you can. All I ever needed was the one. Where he's like talking know. about the beach. It's like walking along the beach, right? The lyrics are something about wow. like. No, That's when so you funny. get done as your homework, you've got to listen to the one by Elton John. It is such a okay. good song, and it so, almost like brings me to tears when I listen to it. It's beautiful. I didn't know that. So I looked up because it's "Hold Me Closer" by Ro Alex. Is this right. song with him, Britney Spears? And I actually, so you didn't like the intro? No, I or did I you like get the intro the song. song. Well, no, no, no. I liked it, but I was oh. like, "Did you like the content of the intro of all?" Like, I did like it. Yeah. I actually did like. It's like a how they showed them walking yeah. toward yeah. their lovas, and yeah. then how Naya walked to the TV. <laughs> I actually did yeah. like that part, and then you know, I didn't think it had to keep going. I don't know. I'm. I guess we're a little bit of prudes, but I was like, I don't really need to see the next part. I don't really yeah. Care. <laughs> Sorry, right. no. I don't. No. I, I, if I wanted to see that type of stuff, I would watch other things, um, I guess. But <laughs> so I did like the way they started this right off yeah. the bat. I do. I don't mind that song. I know a lot of people, I think, ripped it apart. And well, you can tell Britney Spears sounds very auto-tuned. I mean, he does too, even though I don't think he needs to be. <laughs> yeah, didn't they I do, I, um, <clears throat> didn't, didn't, the, didn't Elton John do another um, mashup too? There was another Elton oh, John no, one. with Dua Lipa. Yes. Yeah. Which one is that one? A, I think it was Dua Lipa. Um, oh my God. Hard. Cool. Um, oh my God. I can't think of it because I'm thinking of the other song. Cold, cold, hard. Hard oh, on yeah. my you. you. Donovan, used to, Donovan, when it would come on the radio, was like, hard. What's that part? I was like, they're saying hardened, hardened. Baby. Baby. Yeah. Just passing through. And I didn't mind. I didn't mind that either. Dun, dun. And I think Sometimes it's going to be a long, long time. time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Touch that. Oh, now I I'm think it's Dua Lipa. Yeah. I could be messing that up. Yeah. But. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dropping pens. I wrote I'm melting. My hand. Oh my You're goodness! Nervous. In oh, that fall. Okay. Yeah, I don't have air conditioning installed <laughs> at the moment. 
because we're ghetto. Sorry. All right. Anyway. Oh, it's hot. It's humid today. But actually, it felt like summer, so I was very You're excited. You're glowing. I mean, this morning, with, thank you. I'm, I'm shiny. Greasy. Let's, <laughs> let's say I'm glowing and I'm dewy as opposed yeah. to greasy. There you go. And you sweaty. Dewy. Okay. All right. So Carrie's with Franklin. LTW's mm-hmm. with her husband. Yep. Charlotte's with Harry. Seema's with Ned. Nye's with her TV. Miranda's <laughs> with Che. And I thought this was funny. Of course, Miranda and Che are at a pool because they're in L.A. Right. So, of course, they have to be outside by a pool because yeah. all the other ones are stuck in New York and they mm-hmm. have to be inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which that was funny. Um, I have to tell you, though, because I had the closed captioning on, I could see the lyrics. Or no, did I look up the lyrics? Now I don't remember. I think I could see the lyrics of the song with the closed yeah. captioning. So there's this line in that song that I've never known what it said and I've never looked it up. But I always, and I knew it wasn't saying this, but uh-huh. I always thought there was, it sounded like cheeks aplenty. And it's not. Cheeks of plenty. My sister used to say that, like cheeks of plenty, like either mm-hmm. your cheeks on your face or butt cheeks, but more like like a baby butt cheeks, like cheeks of plenty, yeah. and it's sheets of linen. Yes, <laughs> I love mistaking lyrics, though. Oh I yeah, wish I could and, come and, up, like think of one off the top of off the top of my head. That like, I know I'm wrong, but it still yeah. worked. It worked. It was like geez. I almost feel like I used to mess up the lyrics of a, the um, the Eagle song that's in I think the next episode. Uh, oh, when she's walking on the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I used to mess those up. Highway, highway, <laughs> in my head once oh, I'm sure there are words in there. Yeah. That, because certain ways, yeah. 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 So. So because these two episodes, it's two episodes, they're long, mm-hmm. it's a lot. I'm going to mm-hmm. see, maybe we can condense a little bit. Sure. Um, so basically... Long story short, they're yeah. going to be able to go to the Met Ball. And the I theme so is, yes, veiled beauty. Um, mm. Originally, mm. Carrie and Seema are going together. Charlotte and Anthony, LTW and her husband. But then um, Charlotte's Harry thinks he's going and he's right. all excited because he thinks he's going to meet Rihanna. <laughs> so then she had to disinvite Anthony, but then also Seema gets asked to go to lunch and meet Zed's son. Right. Um, and mm-hmm. also the ex-wife, mm-hmm. obviously we know is there. So so then Carrie invites Anthony. <laughs> but then, <laughs> and then very more. last minute, um Seema goes to lunch with Zed and realizes that he's still living in the same house with his ex. Right. And also the fact that I think he like left the bill with his wife, ex-wife. Yeah. So she basically was like, nope, and leaves and says she wants to come. So then Carrie has to uninvite, <laughs> disinvite, I think it's disinvite, right? Disinvite Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. But then when Harry realizes he's not going to be on mm-hmm. the steps and no one's going to see him, he doesn't want to go because it also his feet hurt. <laughs> yeah, some funky boots those on. boots were like yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Charlotte invites Anthony, um, and Anthony is is like a total vibe. He's got the bottle of Vouv, um, <laughs> and the Cracker Jacks or whatever. I was like, oh my gosh, the fiddle faddle last night fiddle faddle. after school. I don't like fiddle faddle. <laughs> no, I'm saying I, he had the fiddle. He talked about I having cra- fiddle faddle another time. I cracked a, so my tradition, I guess you call it tradition, is I crack open a bottle of Louvre on the last day of school every year. Oh, because which was, our, which was yesterday. So. Which was yesterday. So I yeah. had my celebratory <laughs> glass of Louvre yeah. last night. And nice. there it is. There she is. Do you have a picture of it? Aww. Yeah, I have to. Because it, it all those didn't YouTube have to, viewers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's by a, the way, too. Tradition. Yeah. I don't know. By the way, too, this is our first video recording of And Just Like That because right. we didn't do video recordings. By the way, that mm-hmm. affects our audio. Like our audio sounds mm-hmm. a lot better when we don't yeah. do video record, but we got to do video recordings. Sorry. Now yeah. that we're doing. Anyway. Okay. So that's how it all worked out. Um, right. With the what they're wearing, Carrie is wearing, was <laughs> going to wear a dress by Smoke, which is who is Jackie's wife. Yeah. Um, because she's a designer. Um, LTW is going to wear Valentino. Mm-hmm. Wait, right? What the heck does Charlotte wear? I loved her dress. The red one, Val- right? I was just <gasps> going to ask you, which one was your favorite? I, 
It absolutely was. My, and I don't That's like exactly red. That's exactly what I would wear. T- usually, especially like I think I look awful. Really? I, I think I own, I, good I have like red. a red tank top. Like I literally don't own any red. I should I probably don't, look into that, but um, no, I, you would look good in red. I you, appreciate that. Yeah, but my thing, I don't own red clothes, but I will wear a, a red dress. Like I've yeah. worn a red dress to a wedding. It has to be that red, though. That yes. red of that dress, and that would look good on you because you've worn. I've seen you wore red lip. No, you you gotta do you gotta look into that. Next Maybe she'll clothes. pass the dress on to me, and I can like <laughs> sure bust sure, that sure. out at you know. Uh, and, and even like her face thing, I would wear that, even though it looked very uncomfortable. Like usually yeah. a lot of these things, I'm like, oh my God, no way. No, it was perfect. But wait a minute. What I think that was like my favorite scene almost was her walking across the street yes. with it flowing in the wind. I'm like, that was oh, so it was like drooling. Sex in what the is city? happening? What? what? I don't know. A beep? A giant beep just happened? Oh, I didn't I hear it. That's fine. It's like another, <laughs> is it your laundry going? I don't know. <laughs> I, I have nothing on this side <laughs> for once. Um it was such a sex in the city moment. And you know what's funny mm-hmm. is I saw that in the previews and I was like, that's mm. not Carrie walking across the road street like that. I couldn't believe that wasn't a Carrie moment, but it mm. actually all worked. Like it was fine that it was her. Like it was awesome. Yeah. That that part yeah. I absolutely loved. I did I did like this episode. I think I liked it maybe better than the second one. I agree. The, but I just you know, again, nothing's ever gonna have that sex in the city vibe, but I definitely this had more of it, though. It had more of it, and it had and more of it. I was excited about it. Like I, that intro, I did have chills, and yeah, just the way you know, what, it's nostalgia. It's totally nostalgia. Mm-hmm. It was the mm-hmm. way Charlotte looked at Harry. Like that's her look with Harry. Mm-hmm. Like everything, and obviously with the newer people, it was different. But um, and even Carrie, and it just it mm-hmm. gave me. It was good. It was good. Um. And I'll just go into Carrie's dress, even though it's a little out of out of care. Basically, smoke. I don't know. I guess it was a seamstress fault because there was <laughs> this stomach flu going around, which yeah. affected the nanny and affected the seamstress. I don't know if there's and another seamstress to back up and another seamstress. But listen, mm-hmm. I want to tell you, I have a pet peeve with calling it stomach flu because it ain't, and I have proof. <laughs> I googled it. People call it the stomach flu. So I actually found an article and I Googled, there's no such thing as the stomach flu. The article mm-hmm. came up, stomach flu dash, there is no such thing. <laughs> this is from, sorry, canr.msu.edu. So it's Michigan State mm-hmm. University. Okay. Right? Stomach illnesses may be confused with the quote flu because they often, but not always, come with several of the same symptoms, body aches and fever. The main difference is that there are no respiratory systems symptoms if you have a stomach illness. So I guess a flu, that's the difference. The flu has, so it's not a flu. It's a I stomach virus. Stomach bug. stomach bug. When I was little, we called it a stomach virus. We always said okay. virus. I don't know if that's because mm. I had a pharmacist father. Yeah, I probably. Know, but <laughs> I never heard flu until I think I started working in a school. And I was like, yeah. I remember that? actually my former roommate, two roommates ago, three roommates. This is my third roommate <laughs> in like five years, on? four years. It's not me. Uh-huh. <laughs> I make him retire. <laughs> <Do> retire. <laughs> um, I remember, you know, I think I'm talking about. Yeah. My, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was like, why do they call it the flu? It's not the flu. I'm like, I think you're right. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> that was a, a little pet. So the dress does not fit her. In fact, it didn't look so great if you ask me. The stripes. I don't yeah, know what like was going it. on. At all. I don't know what her, a hot her mess. vision was, but she wanted it to be really tight on her. So, like, I don't know, bondage maybe looking. I'm not sure. A mummy? But yeah, mummy. I, I don't know. know. But it it she couldn't get it right. And I was like, Carrie's going to go. So it was I, – I don't know. I didn't mind that. I didn't mind she wore the Vivian Westwood Yeah, and she had the cape, dress, which was – which What's the cape name? was cool. Of course, the, the feather on that hat, bale thingy, whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it, um, matched the cape. And then she had the shoes. Um, well, she probably had the shoes planned anyway. But I wanted to yeah. say, too, Vivian Westwood passed away between the end of first season and this. Oh. So I wonder if they kind of did an homage. Oh. Maybe. I'm Again, I'm making this up. I didn't Google it. But right, that was right. my thought. Hmm. Anywho, uh, where am I here? But wait, do you know what designer Charlotte supposedely wore? Because <laughs> I, I don't recall. Down. 
I didn't. I wonder if they talk about it. it. I mean, I wonder if they said it and I missed it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I wanted to say too. um, The beginning, we do find out that supposedly this is three weeks after like the last season ended because she said, she's talking about Frank, the relationship with Franklin and that it ended. I mean, that it was three weeks ago that it started. Oh, I also wanted to make a note of this episode, which I find funny, but they have to do kind of because it's a show. They talk to each other a lot on their cell phones. They don't yeah. text. Right. And I just, I don't know. This is funny. But but it's good. It's good for the, you know. The, it is good. Um, I mean, here are some, some, what, some key, some notes, I guess, of the episode. Mm-hmm. Like, basically, mm-hmm. she's seeing um, Frank, Carrie's seeing Franklin once a week on a Thursday after they, after she records her podcast. Um it's it's just basically a booty call if you want to call it that. Um, when he <clears throat> asks her to go out on a Tuesday night, she kind of is like Ugh, and like puts the brakes on it. And the reason he even I didn't realize this either for some reason until the second time. But he got like inspired to ask her because that phone call she got for the podcast right. asking about yeah. the next step or level. He was he's cute, but they made it so you kind of were like yeah. She's done. Yeah, but I he's know. A cutie, he's a cutie patootie. And there was nothing like wrong with him, which no. I like. They didn't make him like quirky weird where she was like, Ooh, yeah, just wasn't ready or whatever. Just not there. Whatever. Um, she ends things with, I mean, we could just, I guess, do the storyline. She ends yeah. up ending things with him. Also, to the podcast. Totally oh, shoot. Canceled. And there's uh, even Chloe, the pregnant Woman said in the wheelchair said that, you know, podcasts are drying up. They're not the 2021. I think that's when we started. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> not the heyday. Oh, but, um, but basically, um, there was a lot of pressure for her to do this ad about vaginal wellness, a vaginal wellness product. Yeah. So, you I know, mean, we will only sponsor, we will only do commercials for things we use. Okay. As long as yeah. We. I'm not, yeah, I'm, and I'm I wouldn't not be doing doing that. that. No, I mean, people no. have been knocking down the door. They want us to do vaginal. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. For some reason. Yeah. I can't believe we haven't had like a, <laughs> I don't know, a wine sponsor at this I know, point. Come on, somebody. Like, I don't know. Somebody out there. Help us out here. Throw us a bone. I mean, we that's what we had so far. A bark box. We did. That I don't was think cute. anybody bought any, but it's okay. I don't know. But it was good. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, all right. Our listeners really <laughs> and the dogs. I don't um, I wrote a couple Ooh, of things about that one. Shout out to Salmon Sundays because Carrie was talking about how she can cook salmon. Oh, right. And I have a theme every Oh, Sunday. you do Salmon, salmon. Sunday. Uh, caviar, ew, gross. Um, that was in my notes. I have you, you. Have you ever tried have it? Have you ever had? No. But I like, did. Oh. No, it's disgusting. I mean, the, it's the, gross, right? the idea of it is disgusting. I don't think I minded it. Um, I tried not to think about it. I will say, working at Morgan Stanley, living in the city, I was exposed to a lot of caviar. Okay, mm-hmm. and sometimes at events, I would we would have that there, and I finally freaking tried it, you know. And I was like, eh, it's very salty. Had it on the cracker, I'm trying to think about it, but it's not like I'd be like, oh yeah. But if it was, I think I had like a really good one where, I, or they were like, no, no, you just have to try this because it's like yeah. the best or the best or whatever. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and it, I don't it's know. Funny though. My cousin um, today was talking about her daughter who's really picky, really hmm. picky eater ever since she was little. And now she's like 19. And she goes, she's been, ex- she's been like trying new things. She actually tried alligator. I was like, that is one thing I don't think I would ever try. I would never try alligator. alligator? Mm-hmm. I think I did have a gator soup once at a game. Like I had to try it at a game dinner. Don't ask me what that is. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a Western New York Locally thing. Locally like Oh no, you were wet. Like when I was in high school, I was dating this what, guy and his father was in like a hunting club, like conserve the tour, oh, whatever it was. We used to go to this like fundraiser and it was like a legit silent auction, like to raise money for what I'm like, you're killing the animals. What are we preserving here? I didn't <laughs> understand the concept anyway. And like the whole meal was like. Yeah, but alligators. Bear, not local. alligator. I, but well, alligators I don't know where not they local. got it from. But I think about it. I know it wasn't a buffalo, at, but it was literally gator soup. Like it was a soup with alligator in it. I think. Yeah, no. I mean, I had frog even, legs. 
I don't you know. You have. Oh, we were talking about that today, too. That's so weird. Mm-hmm. We were talking about that. And Don was like, supposedly it tastes like chicken. Did it taste it like chicken? It does. She said yeah. the allig- she had alligator nuggets. It tasted like chicken nuggets. But I know. I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. I said, was the texture weird? She said, no. Anywho. Okay. okay. Um, what else we got? Uh, oh, so LTW is very busy. And yes. she's, I don't, had she been working on a, on any documentaries the last season or no? Like, was she just, not say just, but she was not doing documentary work? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't remember like that. Very, she's I mean, I remember, yeah, she's very busy and busy with the three children. And okay, this part had to have possibly bothered you. When she was checking hmm. their breaths after they brushed their teeth. And I know that's your kid because I'll like, yeah even maybe sometimes go up to Donovan, but I don't have him breathe in my sure. face. No. And what I want to know is when they acted that part out, did they blow into her face? Because I don't think they would have. That's all I have to Yeah, say. I don't know. Yeah, good point. I didn't it's even think about that. It's a lot of um, germs going when you're actually not related to them. Right, <laughs> right. That, that bothered me. Um, I said when we interview her, Nicole mm-hmm. Ari Parker, I believe her name is, um, or yeah. Ari, um, I'll ask, okay. Just yeah, please put that in your notes. I'll put that in my notes. I'll get my assistant. Can you be it on that? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Like, ja- oh. was it Jackie, right? Jackie. I love. What's his Jackie. name? He was like yeah. talking about a podcast from his living room. I was like, well, that's relatable. Oh, my God. Well, that's what <laughs> I was thinking about. Too- of my room. <laughs> well, also, too, when their podcast ended and she was like, did she find oh. something? I'm like, you can record a podcast anywhere. Right. If you want to, like, you don't need that. But I mean, I, but. I, that's not a steady income for at least for him. Um, right. Oh, just with LTW, like she's working hard and she's trying trying to get it. Um, what do they call them? It wasn't an investor. Is that it? Yeah. So, some sponsor investor she person. Called it, I know she called it something else. She needed $25,000. She's like, I'll just write you a check. I'm like, oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Um, blah, blah. Let's see. Miranda. Miranda has a lot of free time. She's living yes. it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. And also Naya. Naya took a yoga class that morning. Oh, and yeah. she hadn't been muted. And they were like, yep. let it flow. And she was like, F you, yeah. Andre. <laughs> She's not invited back She's to no that. She's no longer welcome. Mm-hmm. That yogi group, which I thought was very funny. Um, yeah, Miranda got into that sensory deprivation tank. That was so stressful and uncomfortable. And oh, it was driving me nuts. I, yes, agreed. That's that's that does not seem relaxing at all. Not I don't, at I don't all. Understand what was going on there. Um, che, we see, is at a costume fitting. The writer named BD is mm-hmm. really trying to make them into them. It sounds like, um, mm-hmm. and they're talking about their clothes. And the costume yeah. designer says jeans aren't very forgiving. So we come to find out Che has to go on a diet. Right. Right. And yes. Miranda was reading that as it was only a, a bedroom relationship. And yeah, yeah. Because Che didn't let Miranda touch them on the like hug, hug them, mm-hmm. and then also didn't want Miranda to come to that show the first night or whatever. I don't yeah, know, of course Miranda read way into this. I have to say something about this one part too. I'm trying to word it appropriately. The thing. When, what? Oh. So, <laughs> where are we here? I don't know where it is, but it's basically the part where. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Miranda is putting something on. She's yes. trying to figure out this tool. Yeah. A toy? I don't Correct. know. Sure. I am confused, and I'll try to say this. So, Miranda says, I don't know if I believe in this spiritually and something else. She uses another word or something. Yeah. And Che says that Miranda screams, give me a you know what. Uh-huh. Yeah. But Miranda was putting it on. Correct. But Che said, Miranda's screaming, give me. Correct. So Almost like that, that she's, I- yeah. That so she be the Miranda. opposite? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just no, want to say that. Yeah. That's all. So mm-hmm. I was like, I actually watched it again to make sure I got the phrase correct. Yeah. That 
Jason. Wouldn't Shay be doing that and not? Yeah, or I, that's very confused. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, it was funny too when Charlotte first sees Franklin and is like shocked, and then Carrie's like, "Don't be all Charlotte and like say something about mm. I don't know, a relationship or something." So Charlotte's like trying to act like Samantha would, and then also <laughs> then says, you know, asks about his. Yeah. manhood and size yeah. and then also then she says Miranda you shouldn't sleep with someone you work with because you'll lose your power and then, of course Miranda says that right um, cool. of course um yada 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 you have the lunch part Ooh, the lunch where they went all of them went out to lunch oh no I I know if you want to talk I know what part you're going to talk about though I think do you know what I'm going to say like, yeah the little stool for the, the stool <laughs> I was like, yes. How I went to lunch today. I didn't know where I actually my. Where was how it? incredibly simple that is of a concept. Take up a lot of room. Never seen it before. Mm-mm. You know, they try to make those purse hook things that you could bring your little hook and then hook it to, which is like kinda, in Sex Lives of College Girls, which totally we corny, never but, we didn't add yeah. to our store, our merch store. Right? Yeah, our merch <laughs> store. But I do appreciate the hooks when you go to a bar on yes. the bar. That's a good. Yes. I feel like, well, not that I'm out a lot, but I just don't think I've seen that lately, the hooks even. Mm. But yeah, the the purse stool, I'm I'm here for that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> when um, Carrie says she's like, my purse was exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Or my bag or whatever she I said. I like that part. That um, Naya is out to dinner. Mm. Ooh. Toussaint. Okay, did you recognize Toussaint? Please tell me I didn't, him. but he's, wait, why would I recognize him? What? Who is it? He is the hot guy from Janet Jackson's Again video. Oh, he was smoking. And I'll never fall in love with oh. And he had little um, yeah, dr- um, dreads, yeah, oh, I believe. Okay. I think he had dreads or in something. that video. Okay. Dreads. Oh, I awesome. loved him in the Again video. Yeah. He oh. actually is not – He, I think of him from that. I think he's been on like a CSI. <laughs> like he's like – I think I was, I was – I was like – I felt like – like I was too young to watch that video, and I was like, "Oh, this is oh okay." Like, see, I was old. There. I was in college. Yeah, so I, I probably shouldn't have been. No, yeah, that. I was. <laughs> I I saw her, um, in concert like, when that album came out. So yeah. I was eighteen, and in college, and you would have been ten. Yeah, you're a little 10 or old 11. For that. Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, seven, are we seven years apart? We're seven years. I think, apart. Yeah, we are yeah. because I get confused. We're seven years apart, and yeah. My other friend at work, we're eight years apart. So that's why mm. I mix it up. Okay. Yeah. That, I lo- I actually, I really loved her whole storyline. Yeah. Actually. Um, where am I here? So his name is Gary. I might say it wrong. Dordan. Dordan D-O-U-R-D-A-N. Um, he's known. I said, I wish we would see more of him. So, mm. you know, he's hitting on her. It's very smooth. And then she does show him her ring. Yeah. She gets very drunk and she FaceTimes her husband and there's a backup singer there. So it's yeah. very sketchy. Heidi Hat. What does she call her? Oh my gosh. Heidi well, the Hat Hipster. Hipster. Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course there's all ages. And, yeah. Right. Um, okay. Blah, blah, blah. I have the I think that's all I got. Um, yeah. Yeah. I liked the ending. I wish, yeah. I guess they didn't need to show them at the Met. <laughs> but whatever yeah overall i did like that episode i did like I that one it. i did see i quickly like happened to see excuse me on one of the facebook groups we're on because i'm on i think we're on a couple of them a for few, this one. yeah i don't know which one it is if it's in just like that or it's there's one that's called like sex in the city and just like that like a combination but they were like mm. they did not like they didn't i like tried they were, like, to like scroll through those I did see that you commented to help somebody find the sweatshirt. Yeah. Yeah. The New York I, I, well, I found yeah. So somebody on one of the groups was like, where can I get this sweatshirt? And she yeah. is the sweatshirt that Carrie's wearing in the first scene. And I didn't yeah. know what it said. The person did. And um, it said New York Times. And I found before I even I, – I didn't even look for it. I was like, go on Etsy. Because that's where we right. got I Heart Central Park. Right. Um, just like the reproduction. Which looked just like it. So 
I did see though, and I did find it, but it was in like a Heather Gray. It looked definitely a little different. Um, yeah. Somebody probably was like, bust it out with that. I don't know. <laughs> Who right. knows? I don't know how they got it on there. Um, but I did see on now one of the Instagram pages I'm following that talks about the show that it just said vintage. So it's mm-hmm. it's probably a real vintage Right. How could it stay so white? I mean, they must have bleached it. I, <laughs> I get stuck on that too. See, really yeah, white. A little oxy vintage. clean, a little soaking. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So this one <clears throat> starts, it's called The Real Deal. Um, oh, the vaginal ad. I messed up. We just combined it. This is when the. Oh, that was the. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's, that's okay. Right. It doesn't matter. We're Got talking confused. about both of them. Yeah. I knew that time. would happen. I knew that would happen. So she doesn't break up with the guy yet, right? Right. She just like, she just tells him in the last episode, she just tells him yeah. she doesn't want to go out on a Tuesday. So this right. is basically the whole thing. The recording the ad for the vaginal yeah. product. And uh, okay. it, I kind of yeah. I was like, okay. Like it didn't have it's to go dragging on. on. It dragged on way too long. Too, that was too long. Yeah. Um, Seema ends up breaking up with her blowout guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who was her longest relationship. She's yeah, like ten years. She anyway. Oh, so because he screams at her, like screams out, like you're gonna be alone, or you're alone, mm-hmm. and this is why you're mm-hmm. alone. All this stuff. Chase writers having issues. God, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm trying to summarize this quickly, but I'm like, I mixed them up. So, um, oh, let's see. Claw already had that part. LTW. Okay. I did not like LTW storyline. I feel like this is tired, and I hate to. Oh, with sound the like mother, that. the mother-in-law. Yeah, and like, she's annoying, and she's yeah. doesn't, and she's rude to her. And right, can we have a different? I mean, there can be a mother-in-law, and she can be strong and feisty, whatever. But why does it have to be that she has to hate yeah. the daughter-in-law and mm-hmm. um, yada yada, and like says rude things? Like, I yeah. no, that's not okay. I don't. Right. I think that's not okay anymore. Like I just anyway. Okay, Miranda is at an A meeting and meets a girl named Allie. This is kind of random. And decides to clean up you know, do a cleanup of the ocean and loses her cell phone. I mean, this is a little yeah. that was a whole okay. weird so, Do you feel like somebody else wrote that, this? It I was like, okay, so hopefully that doesn't go anywhere cuz that whole she yeah. she was a little whatever. Yeah. And then, like, when Miranda was stra- stranded and then she left the bag, I was like, oh, my God, did she, like, put vodka in her b- water bottle? I went, like, to a yes. very dark – When she went to take the drink of the water, I thought it was vodka. Yeah, I was like, oh, I my God, too. she's going to relapse and yep. it's, like, a whole thing. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, oh, that would have been more interesting. She took her cell phone. <laughs> Do you think that would have been more interesting? Well, I hope not. But, yeah, maybe. No, I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> For the sake of the – yeah, because I was like, something's fishy about this. Yeah, it was um, weird. It made you uncomfortable. I thought something was going to happen the with the guy. She was there. I was like, oh my God, they're going to like I know, that kill her. I don't know what's happening. It that was vibe like was a, weird. So weird. But nothing it just came out it. of place. Was it just yeah. like bad acting? I, I don't I, like, what was it? I don't know. But I don't know. Long story short, with that, she was supposed to have dinner with Tony Danza. Tony <laughs> Danza. Who's the boss? Not Tony Danza. Sorry. <laughs> what is that for? Such a good show. God, I oh, love that show. That is one of my favorite. Okay. Oh, such a good show. So Glad to see him out there still. It's great. I know. I was like, yay! When Che was like, yeah. Tony does is here. I'm like, he's on he's on head just like that. Um yeah, so that storyline is that Miranda meets Tony Danza. Well mm-hmm. oh, God, there's so many things. Okay. She she meets Tony Danza. He wants to take them to dinner mm-hmm. the next night. Of course, Miranda get stranded at the beach right. and plot twist Che's estranged husband should we call it picks yeah. up Miranda yeah but even though her her estranged husband didn't have to drive an hour and a half to get her she was still like late for the dinner which I thought was interesting so like she remember, didn't go to the dinner I, I know, know even though yeah. it cut some time yeah. I don't know right um that whole thing was very stressful and I, I I'd like to know if they address the lost phone in the next <laughs> episode but they she probably oh. yeah oh, um me. uh yeah so then what happens we'll just go into the tony danza dinner is that yeah. he's like i can't play that i'm mexican it's just not gonna mm-hmm. 
fly and already getting slack. So he suggests that Che is, at- wait, Italian Irish? And Not something Mexican? about or no right or the remember. mother oh, no was, there is Mexican was gonna be Mexican and not him yes not Tony Danza yeah yeah not Tony Danza and like the mother died or something I don't right know, some and, weird... but she has her abuela I'm sorry they have right. their abuela yeah I don't know it's just yeah mm-hmm. so um. Let's see what else. So again, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't mind. I also see that Che gets ripped apart. That character gets ripped apart also yeah. in chats and stuff, and they don't like Che. And I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't mind it. Maybe just the the storyline's kind of wacky. Yeah, maybe a bit. Where's it going with what's happening? I here? know. When are they coming back to the city? Yeah. <laughs> like what's right. going on? Miranda has to come back to the city. Come on. Yes. Um. Well. She does because we. I, well, I saw a preview. I saw the preview. I yeah. had to watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, uh, Lily, um, Charlotte's daughter wants a keyboard. Mm-hmm. Harry and Charlotte say that she has to earn it, so yep. she ends up selling her really right. good, expensive clothes to Real Deal. The Real Deal, which I don't think is real, no. <laughs> right? Because it's a bite off of the real real, I guess. I don't know much about the real real. I've heard of it, but I don't yeah. pay attention. But I guess there's this one dress, this Chanel dress that Charlotte had bought Lily for her first recital. And mm-hmm. it was very sentimental. And I guess they were under pricing it. Long story short, Charlotte just tried to get it. The, the girl yeah. working <laughs> at the actual store was Eden. annoying. Yeah. Eden. <laughs> yes. Um, Eden. Also, I'll just point out, I do have a link to that. I know you saw Carrie's purse, quote mm-hmm. unquote. Um, I did find it um, because I had seen something about it on an Instagram post. So it says, Carrie Bradshaw has a thing for birds. Um, this purse, I got to find if it's Judith. Oh, what is it? Oh, my God. Okay. There, come on. It is J.W. Anderson's $890 pigeon clutch. It was wow. plastic, it looked like, right? Wow. It kind of looked like it was plastic. It looked like when she opened it, like it was literally like or a like a, like a lunchbox. <laughs> yeah. Like one of those metal lunchboxes or something. Yeah, I was you know, like. like the thermos was going to fall out the side. Yeah. <laughs> little handle. He man, you know, the, this is where party. fashion's going. They're just like, Oh, I, let's put a plastic pigeon for $790. Oh, plastic, I could be wrong. no, $890. Okay. Oh my god, okay. Um, Charlotte decides she's just trying to, I think she's just nostalgic for the dress and doesn't really sure she gets upset. Well, yeah, but all and Lily did, yeah. did look like her closet was empty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she's wearing. Um, yeah. And uh, to end that storyline, like Lily wants them to hear her song. And I actually think it sounded good, but I guess they were like, oh my God. Cause she's like, I'm not really me. I can't be me. And basically like Charlotte and, is making yeah. her be like a doll and yeah. she doesn't want to be a doll. And that's how she's yeah. expressing it, I guess. So. And how about when she was like recording and she, when they come the in, and somebody, yeah, I was I was yeah. laughing because I was thinking of you, like how you yeah. need to have a sign on your you door. Just walk in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you see but that? that's worse. <laughs> yeah, that's worse because <laughs> she has to go back and start over. Like she can't. She's not going to piece together. I mean, I could cut things yeah. out. And, so yeah, I felt bad. I was feeling it. Um, <laughs> Naya talks. Oh, I forgot about this part. Naya does talk to Andre Rashad. He admits nothing has happened yet. And he sometimes wants something to happen. Then he says, hey, I know how we can fix our relationship. We can get a surrogate. Mm. It's terrible. Awful. So she, it sounds like she breaks up with him, right? Because she's throwing out all yeah. the stuff. I mean, I I suppose she's going to file for divorce at this point. I don't, I mean. Uh, I would assume. It seemed no. like a, like a, just a boyfriend breakup the way she was handling it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. I know. It was kind of weird. Um, um, maybe he's, that was all they could keep him in and he was getting another job in acting somewhere. So maybe, maybe cut, cut his part out somehow. Or they wanted to make her single, her character single. Yeah. That's what I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, 
Seema, remember how good of a couple they were when the show first started? We were like, oh my God, their relationship yeah. Yeah, is great. Um, Seema and Carrie, I just had to make a note of this. So Seema and Carrie are chatting about the blowout blowout, how she had the, mm-hmm. Seema had the blowout with her hairdresser guy, her mm-hmm. black guy. And then talking about there's always a reason, they'll always find a reason not to date someone. And Carrie was saying she used to do that. And she compares it to renting a house in Hamptons and Seema insults Bethany Frankel and said, cause she was like, you know, I would be about, is it, be, uh, I'd be about to rent it, but then I don't. And she's like, oh, is it because Bethany Frankel's there or right. something? Yeah. Now Bethany took that and ran with it. And yes. um, there's a post about it. Did you see it? Yes. Okay. Which I think was fine, but it got like nasty in the comments. Like oh. they were like kind of ripping apart. I think also the people commenting didn't realize they thought those were real housewives. Oh. Some of them, because she says these housewives are still talking about me or something. And so they're like, oh, my God, these housewives. And I'm like, okay, okay I'm sorry. I love Bethany. You know that. Yeah, yeah, She's I know. Like, I worship her. But I not worship her. That's not so like that. But, and I think it's great. It's fine that she did that. Yeah. But I don't know if she was insulted, but I would have been like, happy like they mentioned bethany frankel in the show and sure. i don't know if she thinks she's above that but i don't really think she is i mean this is like sarah jessica parker come on like yeah i think it was cool they did that i don't know if someone's mm-hmm. actually not someone doesn't really like bethany i don't know <laughs> on the on the on the writers in the writer's room but i thought i didn't like that part where people were like oh my god well, like ripping that well, apart i was like okay calm she's down. also known about her love for the hamptons and that's- yeah and maybe because she doesn't shut up about it. And so I, yeah. I don't really know. But I I just didn't yeah. like that people were commenting and they didn't even know what they were talking about. I was like, right. No, it was, Bethany took it, ran with it. It was funny because she's pouring rosé mm-hmm. in like a teacup. Yep. <laughs> it was great. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, uh, we don't need to talk about the real deal. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This I have at one point they're all at lunch and Charlotte's said about the dress this is before she goes to the store ltw stressed about the mother-in-law lunch with the sorority sisters yeah. and that's right i just wrote gag i'm like that's no yeah. I, it's this is so that, this feels like a flashback to i'm like what are we oh come oh, on i don't it know her, she don't comes know. around the corner and and then pretends like it wasn't him ladies. i was so but, upset yeah, that was and they're so, all dressed alike i don't know what was going I, on they look like know. something out of a grease movie <laughs> I, <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> I was like what is happening I don't know. Yeah, that was I know. I mean, I was on his side about like, yeah, it was terrible. Give me a break. Yeah. That was absolutely 100%. terrible and him s- smacking it. And oh, yeah, that bothered me a lot. Yeah. So, and then it bothered me, but she was like, you don't step to that level. Mm. I, don't, I don't know. I just, I, I don't, I don't like the storyline. Yeah. I've, I'm, I'm sorry. With the was, mother-in-law, yeah. it feels like right. Charlotte-esque, like back Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. Um, blah, blah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Where are we? Oh, by the way, Chase, a strange husband, I believe is familiar. Is it Goldie Hawn's son? Oh. What's his name? Um, and why can't I think of her daughter's name? <laughs> oh, oh um, oh Andy God. from... Yeah. How to lose a guy in 10 days. Oh, oh my, my God. God. What is okay. wrong with us? I don't know. I'm picturing her. And I'm not even her. drinking. Goldie, I'm going to write it. I'm, I'm actually probably water. melting in the humidity and that's, and you're not either. Okay. Goldie mm-hmm. Hunt's Goldie oh daughter is Kate Hudson. Oh, Kate so Hudson. he's, he's a Hudson. Oh, I'm okay. pretty sure that's him. I'm going to look him up right now. Yeah. I'm going to have to write. I can I used to have such a crush on him. I, used mm-hmm. to think he's, I mean, he's still cute. Kate Very Hudson's, handsome. I'm going to write Kate Hudson's brother. <laughs> I mean, type. Oh, Oliver Hudson. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to look. Oh, that's totally him. Yeah, it's him. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's, and you know, here, like staring at the angles and stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. So it's Oliver Hudson plays Che's estranged husband. I just want to make a note that's of that. Um, I like this truck. It's a nice truck. Seema gets back together with Zed. Because I guess she thinks, let me give him another chance. She kind of listened to the hairdresser guy. Mm. Right? Now, I can't remember. Well, this is the point where they're out to dinner, and now he's asking her for money. Yeah. Yeah. 
So she's like, yeah. no. And the red flag. It's too bad because I loved him at first and I thought he was yeah. so cute. A little short, but he's, I think he's really cute. Um, but now I don't remember. She goes back to the blowout guy, mm-hmm. but it was it after she ended things no, again? Bef- before. No. Okay. It was before. Okay. She gives him a chance. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was funny too because her hair did look terrible. <laughs> it did look terrible. She was like, out with I don't Carrie even think you could make left. it look that bad. What did yeah. you say? When she was out for lunch or whatever, drinks with Carrie, with I was Carrie. like, she's at the big clip in too. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She had it up. Yeah. <laughs> she had her. her hair. Her hair is gorgeous. Yeah. Um, Miranda is upset about um, mm. the mm-hmm. marriage and says she doesn't know them. Yeah. But Che kind of just is like, I can't take any more stress. And actually, like, it ends fine. Like, it's like, <laughs> but I think it's a foreshadow to. And I thought it was, yeah, exactly. I agree. Because I thought it was going to get bigger. Yeah. Um, it ended lighter I thought, than I thought. Oh, my God. Me too. God, these are really you poor thing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't I've been, know how you're doing it. It's hot and humid. I'm over here with the jacket on. I, have I know. You're making on. me I'm, hot. <laughs> I know you're in air conditioning, but you're making me feel hot. You're making me feel hot. Um, Wow, look at this. 45 minutes. Where are we here? 46 minutes for two shows that were both like an hour. Weren't they almost an hour or something? Yeah. And Abbott Elementary is shorter and we do that longer. So It's humid. Yeah, the humidity is 80. Yeah, it's humid. We're getting those. We're probably, yeah. Um, Yeah. Well, I guess we will. um, They're just going to do the one episode this week release, right? Yes, thank goodness. So we could just do one at a time. we pumped this out. Pumping it out. Pump it uh, out. Thank you, Diana, because this morning Diana's like, <laughs> just one, right? I'm like, well, I did both. Because like, I haven't I actually, watched the second one yet. I stayed so, up like late. I got like weird second wind. I had iced coffee. I took a nap and I was like, mm. you know what? I might as well just do episode two because she's going to be done. Like I thought you would be. Yeah. I feel like you always get notes done faster than me. And, I was, and then when you said that, I'm like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. But So I'm glad we got it done. Um, Yay. And if you're listening to us for the first time... <laughs> We are all over the place. Well, they'll be, you know, we're on the talk. We're on Instagram. We have a website. Mm -hmm. Website's not overly exciting. Um, We're on YouTube. Yes, check us out. You can find us. You know, comment nicely (laughs) if you, if you, on YouTube, give us some star, five stars on Apple Podcasts. Spotify too, you can rate. Um, But Spotify is weird. I was trying to access our Spotify account, our podcast oh. Spotify account. And I don't mm-hmm. know how I'm supposed to do that, even though I can click the, I don't know. I have to figure that out. Cause then I can see people's ratings. You actually like can't see it. And then I could like use it and advertise with it. If it's good, if it's nice. <laughs> we're four point, I think we're a 4.9 on Apple, but we are 4.5 on Spotify. And I was like, really? What happened? Hmm. Um, but I did look at another podcast that's five million times more successful than us, and they're a four point right. four. So, okay, listen. I know they have more ratings than we do. Yeah, so I, I, I didn't feel too bad. Maybe Spotify people are a little harsher. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess okay. that's for it, listening, right? And just right. like that, we're done. And just like that.